Hey, what's going on, guys? Bacon. Today, I am going to be showing you guys how you can play Pokemon Randomizer on your phone. I don't know for a fact if this works in Android, but I do know for a fact that this works in iPhone. I just tested it out, and it works extremely well. Uh, I will be showing you guys now how to do it. So basically, obviously, first things first. First, th first two things you need, you will need your uh, yeah, Google Drive account, so make sure you make that as well. But you're going to need two things. First thing, you're obviously going to want the Pokemon uh, Randomizer. So you go Pokemon Randomizer, you go to the Universal Pokemon Game Randomizer, you go to Downloads, and you download for uh, Windows.exe, or if you have like a Mac or something, download for those platforms. But I have a Windows, so I'm going to be downloading this for Windows. So now I had that download. Now I'm going to go over here to this new, to this tab, and I'm going to be searching uh, Pokemon, Pokemon uh, Gold ROM. Why not? Also, uh, before I even uh, get into this, I need to tell you guys one thing, and that one thing is that this, unfortunately, uh, the app I'm going to be having you guys uh, get on your phone so you can actually get this is going to be an app that only allows Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. So basically, you can only get GB and GBCs. Uh, if you have, if you want to get a GBA, uh, unfortunately, you cannot get that ROM. But I'm just going to be going over here. This is not the one I like. I like this one. This is the one I actually like. I like LoveRoms.com. Uh, if I, if it would work, I'd love you even more. Come on. Hey okay, guys, that just happened. Uh, my internet kind of just went out there for a second for me, so, uh, it's back up, so we're good. So, let's do this again. I'll, this time, hopefully it doesn't break. So, you search Pokemon, I'm, for me, I'm gonna do a Pokemon Gold ROM. Remember, only Game Boy and Game Boy Color, no Game Boy Advance ROMs. They just won't work. I don't want that one, I want this one. Love ROMs. This is the one I like, I click download now. And if it works out for you well, it should do stuff. I clicked it twice, because I don't care. I'm just going to click cancel, and then any second now, it should just tell me that I can skip. There you go, skip, and that happens, and it says, like, content can't be played. Yeah, that is a complete lie. I just click start download. Boom, there you go. Now you got your ROM. So what you want to do now is you want to go to downloads, you want to take it out. And then what you want to do, you want to go into here, and you want to take out the file that's in here, and this right here is your ROM. So now you can just basically get rid of that. I'm just going to put that in there. In case I need it, I'll keep it there. Now, now what you're gonna want to do, obviously, you want to randomize it. So you open up your randomizer. If I it's that WinRAR, stop it. You open up your randomizer and you click randomizer.exe, or double click on it. Sorry, you double click on that, and then any second, it takes a while for me to open up. I don't know if it takes that long for you guys, but for me, it takes a bit of time. And you open ROM, and you find the ROM that you just placed down. So now you got that going. So now you can just like randomize everything. For me, I just like to randomize the uh, starter Pokemon and the wild Pokemon. I really don't like to randomize anything else. Uh, that's basically just, you can do whatever you want here. If you don't know too much about the randomizer, uh, you can go to a different video. I don't have one up, but uh, you can go to like somebody else's channel and they will probably tell you all about this. Since I personally, I don't even know a lot about this. I know this, it randomizes like the, move, the moves that Pokemon can learn. I don't really like that. So, I'm good right now. I have I have everything that's good. I have my Pokemon Gold randomized. I just click randomize, which is a save, and you go find yours again, and then you click save. You click on it, and you click save. This file exists overwrite. Click yes. And now, this doesn't really matter. I'm just going to click no. I'm going to click done. So, now, the ROM that you got is randomized, but now, but you don't want to play it on your computer. You want to play it on your phone. Now, what I'm about to show you, you can get, you, it's very easy to do this on your phone, but unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot record my phone at the moment. Um, I just, I literally just cannot record my phone at the moment. So basically what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, as I'm on my phone, I'm going to be taking some pictures. Like, I'm going to take the picture, the picture of my screen, and I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, how to do this step by step. Hopefully this helps. So, once you're on your phone, you want to go to Safari. Uh, if you have like Chrome or Google, don't use that. Go to Safari, uh, or what? If you're on Android, I don't already know about Android. So sorry if you're an Android user. But basically, you go, you do that, 
and then you type in the URL game game not game boy sorry gameplaycolor.com and you click go and it should bring you to a page that looks like this and there you go took my picture and it, yeah it brings you to a page that looks like this you just scroll down and you click play now and then it says and it has your steps there for you and now you should be on a page that looks like this uh, it says open in mobile safari on your iPhone or iPad so uh, I don't know if this actually works for Android it might but it doesn't say it does uh, tap the share button and add to home screen so I'm gonna click this the share button and I'm gonna click add the home screen and then I'm just gonna click add at the top right and now as you can see I have gameplay on my desktop um, not on my desktop, sorry. On my, um, on my, uh, home screen. So then what you want to do, you want to click on gameplay, and then it put, and then it pops up with two things. Google Drive sign-in and, and an access code. Sorry, I can't speak. Uh, you want to click on the Google Drive sign-in. And once you click on that, it should bring you to your Google accounts to click on the one that you want to use, and then click allow. And then it says copy and paste the app. You should now be here. You should now be on a page that looks like this. Uh, copy and paste the access code in the gameplay color and click continue. Uh, for me, I just got, I just uh, covered up the access code. Um, I'm, you guys should have your very own access code. So basically all you do is that you click on the bottom. For me, it's not working. Uh, I don't know, there we go, okay click in the bottom and basically you just want to copy the whole thing uh, you just you highlight all of it you click copy and then you can just click done and then you get out of there you go back in the gameplay so now you have your code copied now you're back in gameplay now you want now you're gonna be back at this screen and you want to go to enter access code double tap on it and click paste and now you got your access code there and once you got your access code there, just click continue. And now you should be a page that looks like this. If you did everything as I said. So if you're on a page that looks like this, then you're on a good track. Now you want to go back to your computer. You could you could have done this before you actually went to your phone. But basically, I just I just find this easier. So basically you do that. You go to google.com slash drive. And then I'm gonna log in. This is not the right one. I'm just there we go. So now I'm at my main email and it says add Game Boy ROMs to your Google Drive to see them here. So now what you want to do, you want to click new, you want to click file upload, and you want to go and find the file that you just randomized. For me, it's this one right here, Pokemon Gold Version GBC. You want to open that. It might take a bit of time. For me, it took a bit of time. This time didn't take as much. So now you got that there. So now you actually have your Pokemon Gold randomize or your pokemon randomized rom in your google drive now what you want to do is if you go back to your phone it still says no games because it's not since you were on this screen before you uploaded it um it actually doesn't think it's in there so all you need to do is literally restart the app and once you restart the app it will be right there you just click on it and then you get in to the, well, once it works for me, there you go. You click on it, you get into the game. I'm just gonna mute my phone so you guys don't have to deal with any of this. So now, if you got Game Boy Gold, I don't know. I don't know what you guys got, but if you got Game Boy Gold, you actually have a screen that's gonna be looking like this. This screen looks like this. You got your Game Boy, you got your Pokemon Gold. It is animated on my screen, but basically you have your A, your B button, you have your Start, your Select button, you have your D-pad. It's nice, and you just click A, new game, it's gonna ask for the time, I don't fucking care about the time. Okay, come on, will you check the clock for me? I don't fucking care. I really don't care. There you go, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, well, now that you got that, um, obviously I can't really show you, I'm just on Oak right now. And um, as you can see, if it's randomized, then the Pokemon that Oak actually shows you, will or whatever professor you're looking at the pokemon that he shows you will be different for me it's a porygon uh the last time i did this i actually got an eevee so i got two pretty nice po well one rare pokemon and one pokemon that i absolutely love which is the eevee I, I love eevee and the rare pokemon is porygon obviously so you got that well that technically eevee is also rare 
But um, now for me, it's a Porygon. And once you got that, you know for a fact that it is randomized. But if you still aren't convinced, all you have to do is get all the way over to where you actually get your uh, starter Pokemon. It's very simple. Uh, I just got... I have to choose my name. Cool. My name is Gold. Okay. Well, all you have to do is go back to the... Um, Go, I can't remember his name, Professor something. Uh, I can't remember Gen 2's uh, professor, but basically, you just keep going downstairs. Obviously, for me, my mom's talking to me. Hello, mom. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture here so you guys see. My mom's talking to me. <laughs> professor Elm, that's what his name was. And I'm gonna be showing you guys all the Pokemon I get once my mom starts talking to me. Come on, mom, stop it. I don't, I don't care right now. This is just to show the people how to do some crap. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't care. It's Sunday. Yeah, why not? It's daylight savings time. Okay, fine. Cool. Okay. This is annoying me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Come on. I know what to do. I know what to do, Mom. There you go. Okay, Mom. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving you later. Okay. So, now I'm going to go into Professor Elm's lab with the guy looking out the window. Now I'm here. Hello, Professor Elm. And he's gonna ask me to make. He's gonna ask me to pick a Pokemon. So this is gonna be. This is gonna, gonna be nice. Now I'm gonna be able to show you guys something else. Okay, come on. Just let me pick a Pokemon. Give me a Pokemon for a partner. Yes, thank you. Throw away a Pokemon that we just found. Yeah, totally. Last time I did this, I got a Nidoran male. Okay, so the first one, I actually got a Totodile. So that's not new. I got a Totodile. Um, maybe this didn't work. <laughs> Uh, no, it definitely worked. I got a ton of that last time. That was weird. Okay, come on. And what's the other one? I actually got a Bell Sprout. And then, for me, I just did two two evolutions. So that's probably why I'm getting all of this. But then the last one I got was gonna be a Weedle. So, this is how, if you guys just follow all the steps that I told you right here, you should be able to play Pokemon randomized on your phone it's a it's a, honestly I really like it but um I, I don't know it, it takes a bit of steps unfortunately it doesn't look like it works on Android and also unfortunately it doesn't look like you can get uh, Game Boy Advance ROMs but either way that's gonna be it for the video if you guys have any questions uh, leave a comment down below I will make sure to answer that question as soon as possible and if you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe for more. I hope to see all you dudes in the next video. Peace.